Okay, good day. So let's have this example. So analysis of tension members okay, with a welded connection. Okay, determine the LRFD design tensile strength and the ASD allowable tensile strength. Okay, so we have FY equal to 50 KSI and FU equal to 65 uh, KSI. So here are the dimensions or okay, our properties of the two plates to uh, be used, okay, including the okay, the length of the uh, longitudinal longitudinal. Uh, fillet welds that is equal to okay, 8 inches so for the value of fy so we use a mega pascals here in the philippines instead of okay, ksi so again one uh, kips per square inch is equal to 6.8 and 95 uh, mega pascals so for easier uh, computation okay, we convert this uh, KSI to megapascals and round them to the nearest whole number. So we have FY is equal to 50 uh, kips per square inch to be multiplied by uh, 6.8 and 95 megapascals. So we have that as uh, 50 times uh, 6.895 uh, 344.75 uh, uh, megapascals for easier computation we round this up to uh, let's say 345 uh, megapascals then for the value of fu uh, we have fu is equal to 65 uh, ksi uh, multiplied by uh, 6.8 and uh, 95 megapascals so we have that as uh, let's say 65 multiplied by 6.895 Okay, 448.175 so let's say 448.175 or let's say for whole number this is 448 mega pascals so here in the philippines again we are using uh, millimeters instead of uh, inches so let us uh, convert the dimension so let's say this is uh, 6 inches uh, 6 uh, inches multiplied by 25.4 is okay, let's say we will be having a width of 152.4 millimeters and for the uh, 8 inches so this is okay, we have that as 8 okay, multiplied by uh, 25.4 okay, let's have that as 203.2 so 203.2 millimeters and obviously we have okay, its uh, thickness Okay, for uh, for the thickness of uh, the plate, okay, the thickness is equal to 1 inch or simply, let's say, uh, 25.4 millimeters. Okay, so here are the uh, dimension. So as you can see, we have a bigger plate or a larger plate that is 1 inch by 10 inches, while the other is 1 inch by uh, 6 inches. So it is more uh, critical. Okay, our smaller pla plate is more critical compared to the a larger plate so let's have our uh, computation okay so for the uh, gross section yielding uh, number one this is for the gross uh, section uh, yielding so let's have what is our area gross so area gross so we have this uh, plate as a uh, one inch by six inches or we can have it as 152 our plate is uh, 152.4 uh, or this uh, 1 inch or 25.4 okay, by 152.4 millimeters. So our area gross will be equal to it is uh, 25.4 multiplied by 152.4 millimeters. So this is equal to we have 1 inch 25.4 by 152.4 or that is 6 inches so let's say 3870.96 a 3870.96 square millimeters okay, for, if you are to compute for the nominal strength p sub n is now equal to the fy multiplied by the area gross Okay, so we have the, okay, the value of the P sub n is now equal to Fy. We have it as 345 megapascals or the newtons per square millimeters. Okay, multiplied by the area gross, 
3,870.96 square millimeters. Again, if you are to do unit analysis, okay, the remaining unit will be in terms of a newtons. So, if you are to multiply this one by 1 kilonewton is to 1,000 newtons. So, that this value will be in uh, kilonewtons. So, that is okay, 3,870.96 multiplied by 345 then to be divided by 1,000. This 1,335.48. So, 1,335.48 kilo newtons. So, this will be the nominal strength okay, under uh, the gross uh, section uh, yielding. So, let's have this. Uh, it's a uh, values uh, when it comes to the, uh, the design tensile strength for the LRFD. So, we have a reduction factor P is equal to 0 0.90. So, we have that as PU is equal to P I multiplied by a P sub N. So, we have the PU is now equal to 0 0.90 of 1,335.48 kilo newtons. So, we have PU is now equal to I so we have 1,335.48 then multiplied by point I, uh, point 0.9 So, 1,201.93 1, So, this is 1,201.93 kilo and newtons well, That is the design uh, tensile strength under LR FD So, let's have okay, the value under the okay, ASD So, for ASD, we have Okay, the factor of safety equal to 1.67. So, we have the allowable load is equal to, okay, that is the nominal divided by the factor of uh, safety. So, we have P sub A is equal to 1,335.48 kilonewtons divided by 1.67. Okay, so, we have the allowable strength is so equal to, Okay, 1,335.48 multiplied by, uh, to be divided by, okay, 1.67. So, 799.69. 799.69 uh, newton. So, this is for uh, the allowable uh, strength. So, these are uh, the values okay, under okay, the gross uh, section uh, yielding. So, let us uh, check under the TRS, or that is the tensile a uh, rupture strength. Okay, so, we proceed to our uh, second analysis. So, that will be the, okay, number two, okay, the tensile a uh, rupture strength. So, for the tensile rupture strength, if you are to compute for the piece of N, that is equal to FU multiplied by the uh, area effective. And our area effective is equal to the net area multiplied by the shear lag uh, factor. But for this case, since we don't have uh, holes for bolts, the area net is the same as the area gross, and that is equal to, okay, the value of the area gross a while ago is uh, 3,870.96 square millimeters. So for the shear lag factor, okay, this is for a weld connection for uh, plates. So, okay, this is the updated uh, shear lag factor table for tension members okay, for NSCP 2015. So, again, this is a uh, plate connection okay, or weld connection for a plate. So, we proceed to case number four. Okay. Plates where the tension load is transmitted by okay, longitudinal welds only. So, we have uh, three conditions. So, let's have again okay, the value of L or the length of the longitudinal weld is 203.2 millimeters. Okay, so, the longitudinal, uh, longitudinal weld length is equal to 203.2 mm. Then, the width of okay, the plate under consideration, that is the smaller plate, 152.4. 152.4 uh, millimeters. Okay, so, let us uh, see which uh, condition will be uh, applicable. So, the first condition, uh, let's say this is letter A, 
the length of the longitudinal weld is greater than or equal to twice okay, the width. So what is our length? That is 203.2. Is it greater than or equal to twice of 152.4? Okay, if you are to check, okay, so, th so that will be uh, 2 times okay, 152.4 is okay, 304.8. So obviously, 203.2 is not gre uh, greater than or equal to a 304.8 mm. So is that correct? 304.8? Yes. So again, so this condition is not applicable. Okay, the next we have letter uh, letter B. We have for letter B, okay, that is uh, twice the width of the plate is greater than the length of the uh, weld is greater than or equal to okay, 1.5 of the width of the plate. We have twice of okay, 152.4 is greater than okay, length, that is 203.2. Okay, this is okay, satisfied. Since we have that as 304, okay, 304.8 is greater than okay, 203.2. So what about is it greater than or equal to 1.5 of okay, the, the width of the plate? So 203 is is it uh, greater than or equal to okay, 1.5? That is 1.5 of 152.4. So uh, by the way, we are all already on the uh, second uh, condition. Okay, and this one, so two. W is greater than L, greater than or equal to 1.5 of uh, W. So this is I-203. Okay, I-203.2 okay, is it greater than or equal to? Okay, we have what is 1.5? 1.5 okay, of 152.4. That is 228.6. So 228.6. So obviously, this condition is not uh, meet. So this is uh, not applicable. So we have well, we have for the last one more likely this will be applicable. Uh, that will be for uh, the third one, for the third condition. So 1.5 of W is greater than L, greater than or equal to uh, W. So for letter C, okay, we have that as 1.5 of W is greater than L. Greater than or equal to a W. What is 1.5 of W? We have that already. That is 200, 228.6. Is it greater than L? 203.2. Okay, that is okay, uh, satisfied. Then is it uh, greater than a W? Our W is 150.2.4. Uh, also satisfied. So we are using okay, a shear lag factor. A shear lag factor of 0 0.75. Okay. So our conclusion, we are using the third condition, U is equal to 0 0.75. Okay. So we'll be having okay, the effective area. Area effective is equal to okay, 3870.96 to be multiplied by 0 0.75. So, area effective is now equal to, okay, so 3,870, okay, point, uh, 96 multiplied by 0. 0.75. So, 2,903.22. So, 2,903.22 square millimeters. So, that will be our effective, effective area for the uh, tensile rupture strength. So let's have okay, the nominal okay, the nominal strength. Okay, this is the piece of N is equal to what is our FU a while ago. So FU is equal to 448 megapascals. So 448 MPA. I okay, multiplied by the effective area 2903.22. Again, this will be in a newtons. So to be divided by okay, 1000 newtons. So that okay, this value will now be in kilonewtons. So we have that as uh, 448 multiplied by 2903.22. Uh, 
I divided by 1000 for our, for our answer to be in I kilo and newtons. So 1300.64 kilo newtons or the nominal strength for TRS or the tensile uh, rupture strength. So let us have all the values for the design tensile strength. Okay, so this is for the uh, LRFD. So our uh, reduction factor under TRS is equal to 0 0.75. Okay, so we have okay, the design uh, tensile strength PU is equal to P multiplied by the P sub N. Okay, P sub U is equal to P 0 0.75. I am multiplied by 1,300.64 kilo newtons. So we have PU is now equal to. Uh, this is I 1,300.64. Uh, I multiplied by 0 0.75. And that is equal to 975.48. Uh, okay, 975.48. A okay, point forty eight kilo and newtons. So this will be uh, the design tensile strength for TRS. For the allowable strength, okay, we have that as for ASD, we have our uh, factor of safety is now equal to two point zero. So the allowable value will now be equal to okay, the nominal strength divided by the factor of uh, safety. So you have P sub A is now equal to okay, one thousand three hundred point sixty four. To be divided by a two, so allowable strength is now equal to is one thousand three hundred point sixty four to be divided by two. That's equal to six hundred fifty point a thirty two. Is six hundred fifty point thirty two kilo newtons. So this will be I, the design tensile strength and the allowable a strength for I the TRS. Now for our conclusion, since we are neglecting block shear, for our conclusion, so we have PU and PA under GSY, 1200 compared to 975. So the controlling value, I the controlling value or our reference will be I TRS for LRFD. So for LRFD, Okay, the controlling value will be under a okay, tensile uh, rupture strength. Design value PU is equal to 975.48 kilo newton. So the smaller the load, okay, the safer. So 975.48. So TRS control the design. Uh, TRS controls the uh, design. What about for the allowable ASD, 799.69 compared to 650.32? So I think it is uh, the same. Uh, when it comes to the ASD, uh, our controlling value will be equal to the allowable load, PA, is equal to 650.32 kilonewtons. Okay, so also, uh, TRS controls the design for PA. So this will be our uh, design values. Right, so this is for our example for this uh, welded connection for four plates.